Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Liminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Zoom ISO to individually export all the members of a gallery view automatically as individual NDI or siphon feeds. The beauty of this is that for systems that involve driving LED walls or creating arrangements of people around a central user, this is a really easy way to never have to crop Zoom again. Just hit one button inside of Zoom ISO and you have access to all the video feeds of your gallery view, wherever they are, however they're located, and there's a couple different ways that you can handle them inside of the app. So let's dive into it. So we've talked about in other videos how you can just export a single user if you want or a group of users uh, depending on the resolution and then your encoding power by just setting the number of outputs, setting the screen default size, then selecting the user from a drop down list like that. And we've covered that before in other videos. But what we're going to cover in this video is a way to get all of the people on a call. So here's a gallery view behind me. And if I want to get every single video there at the resolution that they appear in the gallery view, all I have to do is tick one of these four boxes down here at the bottom. These are the gallery outputs. And the idea is that these gallery outputs are named by the parameter that you check. So if I turn on the gallery output for username, and then I go look in Isadora at all the siphon receivers available, I'll now see Zoom ISO 1, which we've seen in the other videos. But now I see the names of everybody in this Zoom call with individual video feeds available of them. And if I select one of those, so if I you know, choose from this server, this video here, You'll see in my output, that little box has appeared. And this is one of the little boxes that I'm doing to make a large arrangement. And I'll show you what it looks like when we turn it all on. But now we have a video that's at the resolution that it appears in the gallery view of a person of that name, right? So if I go back to the gallery view and I change the position of that user to another box inside of the gallery, and I go back to Isadora, you'll see that that video feed is still live. It's still that user. So that's really helpful if you care about the identity of the people. If you don't want them shifting around as the gallery view changes, this is a good way to get them that way. The other options that we have, so if I go to back to show all windows and jump back into the settings, is I could, instead of identifying them by username, I could identify them by gallery index. Gallery index is their position of the gallery view. So Alex would be person zero in the top left, and then we would just add one, two, three, as we kind of march through this gallery view. We would just continue to add users there. So let me turn on gallery index and show you what that's like. So I'll go back to Isadora. I'll go back to my drop down list and now it's oh my goodness even larger of a list here so if I want to choose gallery index zero that should be Alex and there we have Alex's little video feed there with the with the speaker box around it and you can choose by scaling whether or not you want to see the yellow outline or not um, but let's say I do in this case so now I have that video feed now if I drag somebody else into that position so I'll go back and I'll put George in Alex's spot now we have George there because it's based on gallery index zero right it's not based on the person who's there like we was when we did the username, it's based on the position of the person who was there. So let's go through, I'm gonna set zoom ISO one to be my center box here. So this will be Alex in the middle. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and select a flurry of other people uh, around them. So I'm just gonna start selecting based on index for now. You see now that I've gone through and started to assemble this view, I have Alex in the center. Again, that sort of thumbnail preview here. So. Uh, if you optimize this a little bit more, you can get it uh, to be more performant for you. But as you can see, I, I can begin to construct an arrangement whereby I have some sort of exotic layout in the gallery view that's a custom view, uh, you know, something that I wanted that was not given to me by default. I could recomposite inside of a media server. And that's sort of the benefit of using programs like Isadora is that you have the option to be able to do something like that. So, you know, we can grab Alex at HD, but then we could, you know, choose later that if we wanted to switch the person in the middle, we would just, you know, select them from the drop down list and then pop back to Isadora and now it's, you know, Carl in the center and we could continue to iterate and change this and we could choose, you know, different people from the surrounding arrangement. All we have to do is just change the number that we picked in the gallery index. So uh, again, with a single click of a button, the gallery index is a really, really fast way uh, to get the positions and the usernames is a really quick way to get their identity. Um, and as you start to introduce OSC and different controls in there, you can build out some really, really complicated systems. And again, it's all automatically done cropping the gallery for you, so you never have to crop it again. And again, we think this will be perfect for, for video walls or for other compositing tasks that involve the members of a gallery view. One button to get everybody. We think it's pretty slick. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, shoot us an email at info at liminalet.com. We'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And feel free to check out the other videos available on our channel to learn more about using Zoom ISO.